if you want to wire in your headlights just like that right there you need to watch this video i have added the super e headlights with the turn signal ring i made this so easy by adding a jumper into the harness there didn't have to cut anything didn't have to do any splicing you don't have to be an electrician quadratech makes this really easy and you got to watch this video and see how i did this absolute game changer on installing headlights with a halo ring hope you enjoy this we are back for a part two we're gonna finish up the headlight wiring that i got these headlights from super e as promised i didn't show the wiring too much in the video because i didn't have a key critical component yet this is gonna make this job way easier and all you had to do was go to quadratech and pick up this this is what you're gonna get for quadratech comes with the directions here tell you everything you need to do this is the secret this plugs in to your driver's side light harness and it splits out the two wires you need to run your daytime runner light you use this connection here to plug in here and look these are fused so good proper wiring is the best way to go i looked at several different ways of doing this and for me seeing this kit right here on quadratech this is the way to do it i've used quadratech wiring harness adapters before so i'm going back with them i know they work good you do not, however, have to do it this way. So there's a couple options for wiring your DRLs. If you just want to splice your wires, they're right here behind this light. I just spent five minutes searching. If you're going to use this connector, the connection is actually right under right here. So you ain't got to rip all this out if you want to get the connection. If you want to hook it up right there, just rip this side of your inner fender out. If you want to hook up to the lights, pull this side out. I, however, did not know this, so I have completely displaced everything all the way up to this rivet right here and just right there there's your connection right there that's the connection you got to take loose so backing back out that's where it is it is right here so if you're running the running light wiring adapter harness from quadratech here's the tools you're going to need you need a crimp connector for this to uh put the splices down 10 millimeter and an 8 millimeter socket. I use a cordless ratchet, it makes it easy. This tool right here will help pop the pins out of the fender liner on the plastic. Obviously, that right there is making the connections, and you are pretty much done. By the way, it's hot, so I have Dr. Pepper. I also have water. I'm actually drinking water. <laughs> I had that Dr. Pepper earlier to go with my lunch, but uh, I'm drinking water in between. Just so y'all know, I know I do Dr. Pepper all the time, but I actually drink water most of the time. So, this is what you got to have. Really easy to do. Took me probably half an hour at the most. And that's with me not being sure how to do it. I kind of had to figure it out as I went. So yeah, of course, if you read the directions, it probably would help. I did not. I just looked at these two or three pictures. I said, yep, I'm a professional mechanic. I got this. So read the directions. It might take you a little bit less time than it took me. So under here, I will disconnect the factory harness. I will plug one in here, one in here. And it will break out these two wires here that I need to run DRL. And this works not only for my Super E headlights, but this would work for any headlights with that amber ring right there. Or honestly, if you're wanting to run lights that run off your running lights anywhere in this vehicle, there's your source right there. This is a very easy, simple thing to do that just gives you options. I love options. If your Jeep didn't come with a factory auxiliary switches like mine did, I did not. Mine obviously did not come with a factory auxiliary switches. I've had to add wiring to this vehicle. So here's one more option. By the way, if you heard that, I just hit my head on that pole right there. <laughs> How about that? Another vantage point here from the driver's side, right under where my PA speaker is right here. There's the other end of that plug right there. So you'll see the wires. So there's wires right there. That's the other end of the plug I'm looking for. I've already disconnected my harness here. So now, that in take you off the tripods there you have the connection I just plug this piece in here splice them two wires up there and I am sending them into the hood and they will come out There they are right there, right next to my horn for my PA system. It's not a horn, it's a speaker. 
you tell you. This is the easiest way to do this, guys. I mean, this is a lifesaver. All right, so here is the function as I have it wired. If I just go to my running lights, the white DRL light will come on. Even if I go to my headlights, the white DRL light is automatically going to come on. However, if I choose, I can press the button on my switch controller, and I can override that with the amber input. Now, whether I'm in running lights or I'm in headlights, my daytime running light is now amber. doesn't matter if I turn my blinker on because I don't have it hooked up to my blinker. The blinker is not wired into these lights. This is my custom wiring. This is how I wanted to do my lights. You can wire yours however you choose. I haven't played around with the taser yet and tried to activate my daytime running lights to figure out how these two wires are powered differently. But either way, I'm not going to use the turn signal for my halo. So I'll voice over everything I was saying right here. That would then function where the halo ring would function as a turn signal and as a daytime running light. Like I say, I didn't want to do mine that way. But that is how Super E, when they designed these, intended them to be run. And like I say before, if you don't use the same headlights as me, this honestly works for any headlights with a halo ring or anything you want to connect off this. You can do this however you choose. But on the Super E's, and most of these with a daytime uh, running light ring and a turn signal ring, I assume that was how it op uh, operated. I just had to do some testing to make sure. But the amber input for the turn signal overrides the white ring for the daytime running light. So I essentially have two daytime running lights. The white, which is going to come on all by itself with the headlights and with those side marker lights. The amber, which I have a switch for in the cabin, I can turn it on whenever I choose. That's how I did mine. Now all I got to do is clean this wiring up and actually make it more permanent. All right, show you the final wiring product. I have ran the white wire all the way to here, connected it into this connector right here the other white wire runs along the this wiring harness of stuff that i've added down along the battery over there and plugs into the other headlight over there so the two white wires from the two drl white rings go to this connection here and now they're powered so you can see the white wire is what i just added into this loom here now i gotta go back and replace these plastic looms because i've kind of outgrown them all I need to add a bigger one now but anyways, that's where you got, guys. Like I say, this will work with any halo ring you got with two wire inputs. This Quadratech piece really changes this game, makes this such an easy process and customizable. Now I don't have to splice into a factory harness to do this stuff. I can just plug and play, change as I choose. Everything is weather tight, everything is sealed. You see the fender liners back together. Whatever way you want to do this, it's all up to you. You're more, like I said, more than welcome to wire into the factory harness there. If you're like me and you worry about water crossings, I didn't want to do it. So the Quadratech piece, man, what a difference this makes. There you have it, guys. Looks pretty cool. I'm happy. I love it. So I need to clarify one thing that I said numerous times in this video, and I'm going to keep saying numerous times because I'm not going to be able to go back and re-edit. These two functions right here for these plugs, it is not that one is daytime running lights and one is the blinker. What it is, these are two different functions of running lights. So the idea behind these from Quadratech is that you can run light bars off of them. You can run daytime running lights off of them whatever you want to run, but it gives you two different functions for how your lights are powered with your 12-volt power source. Neither one of them is a blinker, by the way. So if you want to run this yellow wire to a blinker, you're still going to have to come in here, tap into the wire from the blinker here, which I showed you either earlier or later in the video, depending on where I put this clip. I'm actually doing this clip the next day because I'm editing the video and realize I messed up. So yeah, there's your little update.